Hello wonderful people, I welcome you to today's video. We're going to learn how to watch TV using Cinema 4D. We are going to learn how to insert TV clip inside a TV in Cinema 4D. Let's use how to use texture to watch TV in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to import my TV now. Merge. I go to the location where I have the TV. I want to click on it and say open. I will say OK. So I'm going to drag it up. Then I'm going to Increase the size. I'm going to take it to the TV stand close to the frame. So, for me to do that, I need the up view. So, I need to rotate this jelly. So, I'll hold shift to constrain it, and that is 90 degrees. I let go. And the TV stand is here, so it's time for me to push it down. I can still go back. Then I want to increase the size. then push it out so that's the TV on the wall but I still need to adjust So let me reduce it. All right, so the TV is in its right position. So what can we do from here now? If you look very well, we have the body and the screen. So we need only the screen. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to select the screen. I'll make sure I select every part of the screen. And I'm going to split it. I'll right click and choose split. What I will do is this, it's going to extract the screen. So that if I hide the screen, 
I will still have a part of the screen left. But if I hide the TV, I still have a part of the splitted screen available. So I'll be working with this part of the screen. So let's start from the first one. We're going to be adding a media clip to this screen. And to do that, we need the material. So I'm going to create a new material. So I have three materials here because I need to try some other things. So what I'll do now is to double click on this material. Then I'll go to color. And on this texture, I'm going to drop my media file. So let's go locate the media file. So this is the file I want to use. So I'm going to drag it onto the texture. So I'm going to say no. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on the media I just dropped on texture. So I click on animate, then go down to timing. I have to click on range. Then I come and say calculate. Then after that, I'm going to choose the duration of the playback. So for this, I'm going to choose 500 here. Then for range end, I'm going to put the same 500. I will have to copy it. Then go to my timeline and also paste the same 500. I'm going to drag the material onto the splitted screen. Now, if I hit play, you can see the timeline, but nothing is happening here. So I'm going to stop this and go back to the beginning then come back to this place. From color, I have to go down to viewport and animate preview. I'm going to, I'm going to tick that. Then texture preview size, I'm going to say no scaling. So that is all I need to do here. And I'll go back to the timeline. So let's play now. And you can see the video is playing with some reflections there on the screen. You can see the time frame is just 500 frames. I want to increase that. So I stop this, take it to the beginning. And I go back to the material and under color, click on texture. Then I hit calculate. It gives me the total frame of the video. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste the same thing here, close this and also come to this place and paste the same thing here. So we are good to go. And I'm going to hit play. And that is the video playing. There's another kind of media uh, file we can use here, which is image sequence. So we're going to try that now. So I'm going to stop the play, take it to the beginning, then open the material again. Then on this other material, I'm going to apply image sequence here. So I have this image sequence I want to use. 
all i need to do is click on the first one if you take a good look here the first one is zero 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 so i'm going to use that i'll just click on it and drag it to the texture and let it go i'm gonna say no so i'm gonna click on the texture once again come to animate here i'm gonna use range and i'm gonna hit calculate so we have a uh, 930 frames so i'm gonna put the same 30 frames here Then I'm going to viewport, activate the animate preview. Here I'm going to choose no scaling. Then I'm going to drag it onto the screen. So I'm going to hit play now. And that is the image sequence okay there isn't a mistake here i only chose 30 frames so i'll go back and correct that let me make it 300 I come here then make it 300 as well so display now so there seem to be problem here to, to solve this this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to delete this material so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to drag the same image sequence this is the image sequence we have up to okay I've seen the problem with this image sequence we have two different names from 1 to 30 has one name and uh, 31 to 9999 has a different name. So I'm going to start from here. So 0031 is going to be the first image in the sequence. So I'm going to drag it onto the texture. I'm going to say no. And I'll click on this texture. I'm going to go to timing. Choose range. And I'm going to say calculate so now this gives us the actual thing i copy the movie end frame and make it the same thing as the range end then go to the viewport and check on animate preview then here i can choose no scaling then coming down to this timeline I'm going to paste the same 958 and that is all so now I'm going to drag this into the screen and let's see if everything works out fine so I'm going to hit play now You can see our image sequence is working fine
So that will be all for today. I will see you on the next one. Till then, have a very nice day.